Now I'm going to start off this video with some very shocking information, so I just want to warn you in advance that you're about to be gobsmacked, because YouTube has a copyright problem. Mental, I know. Yeah, you can obviously sense the sarcasm. It's no secret that YouTube has had a very big copyright problem for pretty much its whole existence. In fact, one in every 10 videos I feel like I do is involving YouTube having a very bad copyright problem where YouTube has took advantage of the copyright system here on YouTube and put like claims on people's videos, in some cases even strikes. And in case you don't know the difference, a claim is where someone can take the revenue from your video and a strike is a lot worse. You actually only allowed three of them on your channel before it gets terminated. And if you get one strike, I believe you can't live stream for a bit. If you get two strikes, I believe you can't even upload for a bit. And then like I said, three strikes and you're out. So as you can imagine, striking someone's channel is very frowned upon in the YouTube community. But for some reason, some other people seem to do it on like a monthly basis at this point. And a recent victim of this is a YouTuber called Magnates Media. Now, Magnates Media is actually a channel that I've only been made aware of within the last few months or so. You see, when I've been looking for like a few editors for my videos, I'd seen that a few people had edited for Magnates Media in the past. And the reason why they stuck out to me the most is because the Magnates Media editing on their channel is ridiculously good. <laughs> yeah, he does like documentary style videos, but I'll just play like the first like 10 seconds or so and just have a look at the editing. <laughs> Here's the truth, Pepsi don't want you to know. Pepsi started off as a ripoff of Coca-Cola. Yep, uh, I don't know how to do any of this. Their company to yep. Coca-Cola on three separate occasions. So as you can see, ridiculously good. If you don't really know editing, I'll just put in perspective. This video, it's half an hour long. If it was made by one person, which I doubt it was. But if it was, this would have took weeks and weeks to finish. But yeah, enough of me just expressing my jealousy on their editing abilities. Let's actually look at what has been happening recently with their channel. So the person who runs Magnets Media actually tweeted out saying, a YouTuber called Business Casual, in brackets Alex Edson, has filed three copyright strikes against my channel, claiming I have used a couple of seconds of similar footage. These three strikes mean I received an email from YouTube saying in a few days my channel is going to be deleted. Yes, that's right. All three strikes are coming from the same person, this Alex Edson who runs the channel called Business Casual. Now, as we can see, this is the Business Casual channel. They haven't actually uploaded in eight months because I believe this channel was actually bought out by Alex himself. And I believe, from what I've heard, it seems like this channel kind of went downhill after Alex bought it out and the content just kind of got a lot worse. But one video that does stand out is this most recent video from eight months ago called Why I'm Suing YouTube. Now, I can't watch the video for obvious reasons because he's going around striking people's channels. Don't really want to risk it. But the reason why this Alex guy is saying that he's going to sue YouTube is because he tried putting strikes on another person's channel and then they didn't go through. So he's now trying like, sue YouTube, which I'm assuming probably wouldn't go down well. So yeah, he's basically a notorious false striker, if you want to call it that. In other words, he's a bit of a dickhead. But these tweets from Magnets Media go on and he says, this means all of my videos, the channel I spent years building, and my entire livelihood is now at risk of being taken away. I can't really put into words how devastated I am. I do not believe these strikes are fair whatsoever, and I've repeatedly tried to reach out to Business Casual directly to try and resolve this amic- amic- ooh, wow, 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 I really struggled there. To resolve all this amicably between us in private. Well done, Callum. You can now speak English. But he is ignoring me and only seems interested in getting my channel deleted and making vile threats of... Viled? Is that right? Oh god, I can't read. I hate doing these videos where I just have to read. There's a reason why I just do reaction videos, okay? It's the only thing I can do in life <laughs> when it comes to actual, like, reading ability. I struggle massively. So because my reading ability is so shite, I'm gonna paraphrase. So, in these next few tweets, Magnus Media goes on to say that the part in his video that has been striked, that is apparently copyrighted material, is actually a public picture that Alex doesn't own, and the reason why he's striking it is because they used a similar edit. The edit is known as a parallax animation effect and i believe it's where you take like a 2d image and make it look 3d wait let me have a look yeah so it just makes an image look more 3d and this is the image that he originally edited right apparently alex is saying that he owns the copyright to an effect you can do on an editing software which obviously is mental. I don't know what's going on in YouTube recently with these people thinking they own editing effects. I mean, we just had Illuminati thinking that she owns the highlighter effect and the ripped paper effect, and now we've got Alex who thinks he owns the parallax effect. Like, 
people's egos are going through the roof, clearly. And the thing that makes this even more mental is that they didn't even use the effect the same way. Magnets Media goes on to say that his editor added like explosions, flames, and other custom animations, but because they both use this parallax effect, which anyone can use, no one actually owns it, especially Alex doesn't own it, he's now copyright striked his channel. He's basically just doing this to be a dickhead. There can't be another reason. And then in these next couple tweets, Magnets Media goes on to say that Alex has actually had a history of doing stuff like this, and even goes on to say that he has allegations against him for abusive contracts, and I don't know the ins and outs of this, this is obviously just like speculation. And then Magnus Media says something that I definitely agree with, and it's a big reason why I'm making this video, and actually goes on to say that if you can really use the same public photo as someone else, but do a similar editing style on that photo, and that's enough for them to copyright strike your channel and get taken down from YouTube, this is really worrying. Like, if it's this easy to strike someone's channel, what's stopping anyone from doing it? Now, as we see here, these are the three separate strikes on Magnet's media channel. And the first one is for two seconds worth of content. The next one is for seven seconds worth of content. And the one after that is for three seconds worth of content. So 12 seconds worth of content is getting his channel taken down from YouTube entirely. This is absolutely mental. And the thing is, as I'm recording this video right now, it's still not solved. Now, we do have some promising information at the end of this video, but it's still not solved. So it might not be solved by the time I even upload this. It might not ever get solved. And this guy might actually lose his channel for 12 seconds worth of content. Like I said so many times already, this is extremely worrying for literally every YouTuber on the platform. And then if we carry on down the threads that Magnets Media's post on Twitter, he then even goes on to show how his editor made the effect. It's not like he just took it from Alex's video and used it on his own. The guy literally made it from scratch. And then it even goes on to show that the photo in question is just a public photo that Alex has no ownership over. And then even debunks Alex's other claims, which he was saying that Magnets Media actually copied like his script and used AI to change like the words and stuff, which makes zero sense because Alex's video was like 15 minutes long and Magnets Media's video was like 15 minutes long. So I don't get how it could be copied in any way. But to debunk this, Magnets Media actually shows his document where he written the script and actually shows the timestamps of when he written it. But yeah, in these next four tweets, Magnets Media talks about how he tried to explain to Alex that this isn't copied, it can't be, shows evidence, but apparently Alex just didn't want to hear it. Clearly, he's just trying to be a nuisance at this point. He must know he's in the wrong, and he's trying to just ruin someone's life for some reason. But Alex has also apparently threatened a lawsuit because of this, which again is mental, and I don't see how he could possibly win a lawsuit over 12 seconds of footage. But that could be the next step now, because Magnets Media has tried to counter the copyright strike, and if Alex decides to, he could try and take this to court, which most people wouldn't do, but this Alex guy seems very unhinged, so I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, Magnets Media also explains like how much this means to him. He says that if you take this away from him, you're not only just taking away his job, you're taking away five years of work, a business that he has tried building for so many years, and he's clearly got to a very good point. I mean, he makes very, very good videos, and to strip that away for literally no reason, pretty much, would honestly be one of the most horrible things I've seen a YouTuber do to another YouTuber. Especially when you bear in mind that it is literally for no reason. It's for 12 seconds of footage for crying out loud. But yeah, we did actually get an update from Magnets Media 18 hours ago, and he says that the copyright strikes have actually been on hold, and we can see a screenshot here. Your YouTube channel will be terminated soon. Fucking, what a mental sentence. Over nothing, man. Like, I don't get it. Your YouTube channel will be terminated soon, along with any associated channels, unless you are able to resolve your strikes. During this period, strikes will not expire and you will not be able to upload new videos. Your account termination is on hold, awaiting final review of account notification. I just don't get how YouTube haven't solved this issue. I mean, how many subscribers does Magnets Media have? Basically a million subscribers. So this isn't like it's a small channel having this problem and YouTube just don't care. This is a massive channel and for some reason, YouTube are just pretending like it's not happening. I mean, the team YouTube account actually replied to Magnets Media original tweet talking about this situation and just give like an automated message saying, To reinstate your channel, you'll need to resolve any copyright strikes by getting a retraction or submitting a free form, blah, 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 blah. Literally so pointless. If you really want to narrow down this tweet, they're basically saying, oh yeah, this guy who has absolutely no leg to stand on can just terminate your channel at any point and we're not going to do anything about it, even though it's on our platform. Now, carrying on with the update from Magnets Media, he basically goes on to say that because he has countered the strikes, Business Casual or Alex has 10 days to either drop the strikes or take it to court, which Magnets Media says wouldn't really happen if it involved anybody else, but because Alex is completely unhinged, 
it could actually make it a court, but I believe Magnets Media would have so much backing from other YouTubers. At the end of the day, this isn't really just an attack on Magnets Media. It's an attack on the YouTube system itself. Like, this is scary for anyone who posts videos. But Magnets Media goes on to say, look, if we ever cover a similar topic in the future, I'll make sure that you could see the script and you'll have every bit of information you need to see that I haven't copied, even though he goes on to say that we probably won't cover the same topic ever again. He even said that he'll remove the footage that is apparently copyrighted. He'll remove the 12 seconds. And yeah, honestly, Sorry, it is just mental that like we're talking about 12 seconds here. I know I keep going on about it, but genuinely, this is insane. Even if someone copied an entire video word for word and you strike their channel to try and get it terminated, that would still be maybe a bit over the top in my eyes. Like, there's a lot of ways to go around it with, like, copyright claims or even just kind of calling them out so people are aware of what's happening. But to not only just send one strike in this scenario, but to send three strikes for 12 seconds worth of content, probably the most stupid thing I think I've seen a YouTuber do with the copyright system, and you would like to think that the YouTube copyright system has got better over the years, but clearly, it's just got a lot worse. Like, what's next? Can I try and just terminate someone's channel because they used a zoom effect the same way I used a zoom effect? If they use the same font as me, can I terminate their channel? Like, is that the levels we're going to now? It makes zero sense. But yeah, hopefully this does get resolved, because not only does Magnets Media have a very good channel that I've seen quite a few videos from at this point, but also this is his job. At the end of the day, you're taking away someone's livelihood for no reason reason whatsoever, so hopefully this does get solved. It's absolutely blew my mind that YouTube themselves haven't done anything about this. It seems like because Alex has shown that he's willing to sue people, and he's even said he's willing to sue YouTube, they're just kind of ignoring it, and they don't want to be involved, because they don't want to get involved in a lawsuit themselves and they've just decided not to protect their own creators, which is really sad, but also not really surprising. But yeah, either way, let me know your thoughts down below. It will blow my mind if anyone has the opinion that Magnets Media does deserve these strikes, in which case, then I, I'm really worried about you. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, whatever they are, in the comment section down below, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the video there. So if you did enjoy, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? Goodbye.